Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News for Now for Friday, April 5th. First, we'll talk about the weather. Rain will be sticking around for most of the night tonight, but get this tomorrow, it will be dry. It will also be dry on Sunday, highs soaring into the mid 60s on both days. And we turn now to the news and a sad update on a mystery from Staten Island. The estranged husband of a missing teacher and his girlfriend are now facing murder charges. The medical examiner now confirms Janine Camerata's death was a homicide. Her body discovered in a storage facility on Staten Island yesterday. The ME says her body was badly burned and they had to use dental records to identify her. According to sources, her husband was caught on surveillance cameras at that facility after she was last seen alive. Police say he and his girlfriend killed the teacher and tried to hide her body. To hear that somebody that loved her supposedly will harm her like that. And that bothers me a lot. Camerata's three children are now in ACS custody. Police say the man charged with lying to police and pretending to be Timothy Pitson has made similar claims before. The FBI says 23-year-old Brian Reaney admitted to lying after DNA tests came back yesterday afternoon. He told investigators he was inspired this time after watching a documentary on Pitson, who disappeared in 2011 when he was six years old. Reaney says he pretended to be the boy so he could get away from his family. A judge has ordered Anthony Weiner to register as a sex offender. The disgraced former New York congressman will be on that registry for the next 20 years as a level one offender. That means he has a low risk of repeat offenses. He was sentenced nearly two years behind bars for having illicit contact with a 15 year old girl. He's finishing out that sentence in a Massachusetts halfway house and he'll be released on May 14th. Sports radio host Craig Carton has been sentenced to 42 months in prison in connection to a multi-million dollar ticket scam. A jury found Carton guilty back in November of scamming investors as part of a ticket resale business. Prosecutors claim he then spent their money on gambling debts and personal expenses. Finally tonight, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman's wife is trying to use the drug lord's name to get into fashion. Emma Coronel is trying to get designers to make items for the El Chapo Guzman JGL clothing line. But authorities argue that because El Chapo is a criminal, she shouldn't be able to get a trademark for the brand. Guzman is still awaiting sentencing on drug trafficking and murder conspiracy charges. He could spend the rest of his life behind bars. And that's all for News 4 Now. Stick around after this for a report on 15 nurses who are all pregnant at the same time at one Long Island hospital. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in.